Okay, Siri. Set a reminder to go to HEB around 2 o'clock tomorrow. crazy but I'm about to head off to church but welcome to a how I use my Apple watch in a day so I'm popping it off my charger and then I'm gonna put it on and I usually wear it with like stacked bracelet that way it looks you know just cuter and not as like I don't know sporty so I'm gonna pop it on Woo! this is my little OOTD I'm gonna take these out after a little while gonna head on to church and have my blow dryer in here and some extra stuff that I gotta do after practice this morning but yeah Tip number one, or just something I do in a day, is if I have my Apple Watch on while I'm driving, I 100% like won't even glance. Like sometimes, obviously when I drive, I don't get on my phone, but like sometimes I'll glance down at it if like a notification, I'm just like, what, what, who's texting me? But it also appears on my car as well. Um, but I have to be like an airplay in order for it to appear on my car. So if I'm not an airplay and I'm just going a short distance, like for instance, I'm just running to church right now. I don't really want to plug in my phone for airplay because I'm literally going to plug it out. So this would be like an instance where my mom would be like, hey, like, can you get this? Or, hey, you forgot this? Or somebody's like, hey, where are you? Or something like that. Something's going on this morning. I can just glance down on my Apple Watch and be like, boom, while I'm driving. And I can just read it. And I have my day. I have my temperature and I'm also gonna show you guys like my Apple face watch so that way you guys can copy it if you want it's a lifestyle like tick tick tock it's a lifestyle tick tip <laughs> this is just a lifestyle thing that you can add to your life that just gives it you know that much more of accessibility and um, what's the word? Like extra efficient or something like you know you, you have it you can count on it boom and the battery life is really great okay I'm talking a lot anyways I'll talk to you guys later. All right, so I just got home from church not too long ago. I'm gonna wash my hands, and our kitchen's a little messy, so don't mind us. Um, but whenever I wash my hands, when I wear my Apple Watch, I will admit sometimes it's annoying and I don't want to use it. But most, not most of the time, it's like half and half. Half and half, I like it. But look at this. It's a little timer, and it shows you how long to wash your hands for. So God. And it'll stop the countdown if you stop moving. It's annoying, I know. Like you pain. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, two, one, zero. And it gives me a little thumbs up with bubbles everywhere. Oh, this water's hot. And there it is. Thumbs up. Woo! Alright, gonna go out, have a shopping day, gonna have my Apple Watch on. Really just use it to Actually, I'm, if I'm really being completely honest, it takes me a second to read this watch, but it's just cute. So that's just my honesty right there. I don't really know how to read a clock that well. Well, look, I do. But when you're in the middle and you're multitasking, you're like, Ugh, I'm not there yet. So we'll get there one day though. All right, so I just got home after running a few errands. It's about the afternoon, late afternoon-ish. Um, I'm gonna use my watch because I have a walk and talk group tonight. My church does a walk and talk and it's like a connect group. Um, so we're gonna go to the track by the high school. We just walk like a mile, a couple laps, so it's really nothing a lot, you know, because we're walking and talking. But I'm gonna track my little walk, so I love using my Apple Watch because I work out like, you know, at least three or four times a week. Well, not, I wouldn't call it like a workout, but I'm active. I go on like walks slash jogs. So like it's a run walk kind of thing. Um, like three, three days out of the week and then Sunday evenings we go on this walk, so yeah. All right, so I just did the longest mile of my life because it's really meant to be low-key mile. Um, and I burned about 124 calories and it took us about 30 minutes to walk because it is a walk and talk and we only walk one mile. It is currently 7.02, so it's from 6 to 7 or like 6 to 6.30ish. Um, we just stayed a little longer and we talked and stuff. But what else do I do? So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end the workout. This is what I wore to walk and talk. I just had these um, New Balance shorts on some old Adidas and this Alpha Phi shirt. I was in a sorority. Um, still technically an Alpha Phi, just not like an active member, like in the collegiate level. I'm just kind of an alumni at this point. Um, but yeah. I'm a hot mess. It's time for me to take a shower. Take my Apple Watch off, gonna take all my jewelry off. Woo! Ooh, I'm filming an exciting video. I think probably not tomorrow, probably Tuesday. Yes, because Monday I gotta go to the grocery store to get some stuff because that might be part of the video. Yeah. We'll see. 
gonna be a little out of my comfort zone. Not really, but it's just gonna be difficult, kind of. All right, I'm gonna go take a nice shower. I just feel really gross, and then probably be gonna pick up my room, but I'll show you guys some more stuff that I do with my Apple Watch in a bit. All right, so I just got out of the shower. I've been wearing the same outfit I've been wearing a lot. I picked up my room a little bit, um, but today's Sunday, so I am going to do some laundry, and this is where I definitely use my Apple Watch. So we're gonna go do some laundry. Hey Siri, set a timer for 35 minutes. Okay, 35 minutes and counting. It's the best, and I do it over there sometimes, but like the lighting in my laundry room is just like not good. So I'll usually like close the laundry door and I'm like, hey Siri, set a timer for, you know. Oh no, just kidding Siri. But yeah, I love using that. So my timer is about to go off and I'm gonna go get my clothes, but I wanted to sit and talk for a second about like, just kind of like another thing that I use my Apple Watch like in a day. Of course, all the notifications are very great. Like obviously my phone is like charging above my bed and I'm still getting like notifications. I'm still working, I'm still with it. Okay, so my boyfriend just texted me. Oh, timer is done. Oh, that's what it looks like, boom. So we're gonna stop that and we're gonna go grab that in like a couple minutes or so. But on Sundays is usually like when I cross out like probably Friday, Saturday, and Sunday because I more than likely have not looked at this since like Friday, which is like my last like school work day, I guess you could say. I've already planned out this coming week like probably Thursday or Friday. I usually do it towards the end of the week, but I kind of go and I just like see what's happening on Monday just so that way I need, you know, so like right here I have like a little to-do list of just like sometimes I write it there just so that like I look at, I can see it in my planner and not like I don't have to go to like my to-do list, you know? So I have go to grocery store, so I'm gonna set a reminder on my Apple Watch. Hey Siri, set a reminder to go to H-E-B around two o'clock tomorrow. Done. Perfect, Brooklyn Mendez, go to H-E-B around 2 a.m. tomorrow, I mean 2 a.m., 2 p.m. One of my like last little tips and like things that like I do in a day, like definitely, like I've, I've done it today, but I just didn't get a chance to film it because it's just so like in the moment, it's so fast, is I ping my phone. So for instance, what you're gonna do is you're gonna swipe up and you're gonna hit the little phone with like the little like, looks kind of like a satellite, like little uh, lines on the outside and then you just click it. And you hear that noise? That's my phone. So obviously I know where it's at and it's not too far, but I definitely use that a lot. Like when I'm running out the door and I've got my Apple Watch on, I'm like, where's my phone, where's my phone? Oh yeah, boom. And it's so funny because it's so convenient and then I always like forget that that can ping and I'm just like freaking out where my phone is and then like my boyfriend's like, Brooklyn, ping your phone. I'm like, oh yeah. And like my mom will be freaking out and she can't find her phone on. I'm like, and she can't find her phone anywhere. And I'm like, mom, ping your phone. And we like always have our Apple Watches on, like especially when the times like when we've lost our phone, like we literally can't find it. So I think it's just really funny how it works. <laughs> But yeah, that's about it. I really love my Apple Watch and I think it's a really great product, especially if you guys are like interested in getting it, you're on the fence. If you're a very busy person and you like working out and you're just very organized and you're very efficient and you just like like a lifestyle efficient little tool, I would really recommend this. But if you're not really, like not like that you're lazy, but if you're not a person that like is very structured and like doesn't really work out, I would say this would probably be a waste of money. Uh, because you will you'll find yourself not using it and even when I have my days when I'm just kind of like I don't know not me. I won't wear it and I'll find myself not wearing it and Partially we're home. So it's different But like when I was in college like in-person classes like I would wear it day in day out wear it around It was just like a huge tool for me and I know I'm gonna be doing that once I go back in But now that I'm home all day it's a different story. So yeah, just letting you know if you're not like one of those kind of people like a busybody and you work out and all that, I feel like it kind of might could be a waste of money if you're like tight on money. Obviously, if you want to splurge and do it for yourself because you're not worried about the price, do it. But if you're like, eh, I'm worried, I don't know if I have the money, yada, yada, yada. If it's really not that important and if you, re you really don't think you're gonna benefit from it, it'll definitely be a waste of money. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little How I Use My Apple Watch in a day. Let me know if you guys like these tech videos or just Apple products in general. I really, I really enjoy my Apple products and I have lots of tips and tricks that I use with my phone and my computer and I would love to share them with you guys if you guys are interested. 
Anyways, I have a video coming out very, very soon, so make sure you turn on the notifications and you subscribe. It's a little bell, I think. Yeah, turn on notifications, subscribe, and comment down below how you use your Apple Watch if you have one, and then comment down below if you want one and why you want one. So yeah. Anyways, be sure to follow me on Instagram at Brooklyn Mendez Double B, and I'll see you guys very soon in the next video. Bye.